Hello, Crafty Mavens. This is Megan, and I am back today with a Kid It Up video for you. So real quick, before I start the actual layout process, I wanted to show you the kit that I'm using. Now, I am a design team member for the scrapbookingstore.com, and this is their November kit. Since it is only a few days left in November. I thought I would make one last layout with this one and well, okay, honestly, I will definitely keep this kit and keep it in my stash, but I wanted to kind of go through it and show you what I have left. I have made one layout and a pocket page so far, and I'm absolutely adoring this kit. Um, so first off, I will show you, they included some Studio 112 cute little birds. I've used up four of them. I only have two left. Then there were also some Jolie's Boutique pretty, pretty, pretty butterflies, which I have used a few of those on a layout. There were some butterflies from Studio 112 as well that I have not used. Then I have a couple of scrap pieces of paper sitting here waiting to be used. Here is a three by four card from one of the cut apart sheets. And then let's see another cut apart paper. I have this um, autumn floral. This is from the Celebrate Autumn collection by Echo Park. And this one was made last year. So this was last year's fall kit from Echo Park. So I have a couple sheets here that I did not use all of them up. I use them as layers. Then there's another one there. This is the full papers that I have um, left in the kit to use. So like I said, this is the Celebrate Autumn collection by Lori Whitlock for Echo Park. And it was the 2018, um, fall collection for them. So the kit came with a sticker sheet and you can see, I actually used up quite a bit of this sticker sheet, which I absolutely loved. I thought it was so super cute. And here is another piece of paper that I have a scrap of. It's got some leaves and then apples on the other side and some more scraps. I thought I had stuck all the scraps together, but apparently I didn't. I love that they include this, the um, cut apart sheets. They're so fun to use in pocket pages. And if you've been following me this month, you know, over on my YouTube channel, I have been trying to do do a ton of pocket pages this month. Okay, so here's some of the cards that I did not cut up. And there's a nice orange paper. And now we have, let's see, six pieces of paper left, I think, here full size. Five, I can't count. Okay, so I will share those with you and then I will get started on my layout. So this one is called Pumpkin Farm. I like this side, but it's too cutesy for me. So definitely I'm gonna be using this side. And this one is super cute, but I really honestly don't know how I would use it. And I like this side, it's, it's a nice, nice colors and neutral background. Okay, then we have the acorns and the leaves and a nice plaid. Another nice plaid. This one's orange and yellow and red, which is really pretty. That one's called Autumn Friends. And I absolutely love this background. I am tempted to cut out a bunch of these and use them as embellishments and things. Okay, then last but not least, fall is fun. We have this nice canvas beige color. And then this one would also be fun to kind of fussy cut a bunch of these phrases out. 
Okay, so now that I have shared the bits of this kit that I have left, I am going to get to business and get to creating. Um, yeah, I hope that you enjoy this process video. Okay, now I am showing you the two photos that I'm going to be using. And here I'm deciding I'm going to use this canvas background paper as my background. And then I am trying to decide how I want to mat the photos. I apologize, my dogs are in my room with me and they're fighting over a toy. So, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> You're going to hear them. Um, so here I'm going to decide to use this kind of off-white paper with leaves, but then I stop to go look through my album to see where I'm going to put these two photos because this is our Christmas card, and so it's going to go in my Christmas section. So I didn't want it to be too fall-themed, but I still wanted to use this kit because it's super cute and I absolutely love it. So I come back a very different day. As you can tell, I'm wearing something different. And what I decided to do is to mat the both of the photos on this leaf paper. And the, you're not going to be able to see the leaves. The part that I want you to see is just the off-white part. I want it to stand off of the background um, because I am going to mat it on that red paper. I wanted it to stand off of the red paper because there was a lot of darkness on the photo and so that off-white just helps it pop right off. So now here I'm gonna mat the back of our Christmas card. So every year we do a family photo and on the back of our Christmas card, because we print it through my photography printing company and they do it front and back. Mark designs it every year and we always have a section for each one of us, including the dogs. And so that's why I have the front and then the back on this layout. And I keep it very, very simple. I'm just going to glue both of these photos on the left-hand side. I am going to pop up that mat onto some fun foam to give it a little bit more dimension and just make it a little more fun. So here I'm going to glue it to... Um, glue the fun foam to the back and I'm cheap so I don't buy the the adhesive kind of fun foam so I have to sit here and glue it all down and I use a ton of glue when I'm gluing down my fun foam because I don't want it to come off so if you're cringing because of how much glue I'm using I'm sorry that's just how much I use I use a lot so here I'm gonna glue it to the page and then the rest of the layout is pretty, pretty quick. I think this whole thing maybe took me 20 minutes, 30 minutes at the most. And um, I really love it. I love how simple it is. I'm just excited that I used up the a few more papers from this kit. I did decide to bring in this season's greeting sticker. Now that's definitely a Christmassy sticker and that is from the scrapbookingstore.com Christmas kit. And so I'm just going to pop that up on a couple pieces of foam and then I'm also going to use from the Echo Park sticker sheet that's in the fall kit that I got. I am going to use a sticker that says sweater weather and you can see that right there and I'm going to pop up the pieces of it that are hanging off of the photo. Okay, now I am bringing in a couple of these red and green glitter 
brads and those are also from my scrapbooking store kit for December but I really did want this layout to be a little more red and greens since it is going to be in my Christmas area of my album and so that is why I brought in those but I did use the papers and everything from the fall kit at first when I did the the share the kit share I was thinking I was going to add this to the fall area of my layout but I'm not going to since it is the Christmas card that I wanted to make sure that I got scrapped I am going to do another layout with this kit of this photo and I think I will put that in the fall area of my album and so um, I will make that layout a little more fallish Okay, so now I pulled out this alpha, and this is, let's see, it is the Puffy Alpha stickers from Freckled Fawn. I think that's what they're called, um, and they are just so pretty. I love them. They are a mix of lower and upper case, and I just thought they worked out really well. So the title is just going to be... Uh, from the Blethen family. If you want to read what's on the Christmas card, you could say Merry Christmas from the Blethen family. And that just worked out super, super well. I am going to add three brads above the title on the right hand side. I tried sticking down the, uh, the dot for the eye and it just would not work. So I gave up and it just doesn't have a dot because <laughs> it was so freaking small that I, I couldn't even get it to, to glue down to the piece of paper. So I gave up. Now I am going to use this border sticker that was on the sticker sheet. And I'm going to make it into a banner and that is where I am going to do my journaling and I'm also going to um, add a little piece up there at the top. Yep. And then that is it. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this layout and I will be back again very soon with another layout. Bye. Bye.